All right, so today we're going to make a copolymer definitive socket with the attachment plate molded right into it in one procedure. Okay? This is an unbelievable thing that you can do, save a tremendous amount of time, and build a prosthetic socket that's far superior to anything that we're used to doing. Okay? And it's just a matter of layup. And the way we're going to lay this up is with a frame. We're actually laying it up upside down because it's going to be flipped over in the oven. It's going to be turned over this way in the oven. It's not going to be allowed to droop. And we'll get into that later. Okay? First piece, quarter inch copolymer. With maybe a, what, three-eighths inch hole drilled in the center of it. The hole is there for a vent, believe it or not. Because these two pieces are going to be sandwiched together in the oven. And when they're sandwiched, they're going to actually expand with the temperature and then slowly collapse one down on top of another, creating one piece of material out of two. Now, of course, since we're going to be welding them in the oven, these two pieces have to be very clean. We wash them with a biodegradable cleaner and then rinse them very well and dry them before we assemble this thing. Okay, so it's all in the layer. You got one piece with a hole first. The next part is going to be the plate. This is the plate we like to use because it's got a large ring in the center which will allow air to evacuate out, okay? And we also, if you notice, it's got screws already in it and those are going to create the channels for the screws that will assemble the, the, uh, the pyramid afterwards. Okay? They're already driven in. The heads of the screws have been grinded off so that you have just enough room for the Allen wrench to fit inside there. And we, what we do is set the screws in a little bit deep because they're actually going to pinch the plastic as it heats. And by having that gap, that's what's going to allow the air to evacuate between the two pieces of plastic when it gets hot. Okay? And we're going to do this all upside down. So now we're going to place the screws upside down, centered over that hole. Okay? Then, the next piece is a round disc. The reason for this round disc of copolymer, all the same as the fact that it was cut right out of the corner of one of these pieces. The reason for this round disc here is to double up the thickness in the region where the plate's going to be so the screws have something to insert into and it gives you a better base of support. So it's actually going to be a half inch against the model and another quarter inch on the outside of the plate. So that gets centered over that. And then the final piece goes over that. Voila. Now, the top of the piece goes on. You want to help me or you want to just play? You going to work or you going to look at me? Do you know what he's doing? You know what I'm paying you for? No. To do nothing. Come on, get some bolts. Come over here. You want my bolts? Yeah, I'll give you bolts. Get the bolts. Do you know what he's doing? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I don't think he's going to do it. Because you got to torque these down evenly now, too. Torque. Oh, temperature. 361. Good. You need 275, then you know that? Yeah, I don't know. I do know that. So right. why you put 261? No, because I want a little cooler because the material, the material is actually going to be very thick, so you want to lower your, your temperature to give it a little more time to heat up. All pinched together. So it's just a matter of layup. Now watch. So that's how it's going to look. We're going to put it in the oven upside down. That should be centered on the ring. And that little hole there is going to allow the plastic to vent out between the two parts as it heats up. Okay. All right, okay. now we're going to do is lay this in. Actually, we're not going to allow this thing to droop. We're just going to lay it in upside down like this. you got to look here. Okay. you got to look at the thing. Gotcha. <laughs> Sorry. What are you looking at me for? I'm not that pretty. Some Shut up! Because you look funny today. All right, so you lay it in like this, and just wait till it reaches warming temperature. And all the bubbles are gone. Little by little, they work themselves right out. It's developing so nicely. Mm -hmm. No air pockets. If you look at the center, it's still white. That third plate in the middle is still white, so we need to get it a little hotter. But it's not going to matter. Just get it good and hot, and it'll be fine.
Now the last part, of course, is that center disc, which is where the plastic is three layers thick. So that's not hot enough yet. But you can see how it dropped in right around the aluminum, and the hole actually just pulled right down over the over the over that aluminum plate. Now I got to be careful because the la when I laid this up, I wasn't careful enough to place my pins where they belong. So when we put this over, I'm going to have to rotate it to get it in line with the line of progression. So it's square with the line of progression. socket. So what's going to happen here is we're going to use drill the hole right in the back here where it's triple thick because at this, in this region here your plastic is still over a half inch thick and that's what we're going to drill the hole for the, for the vacuum pump so that you've got a good strong place to anchor it. The screws are aligned with the line of progression, we're good to go. Now, if you noticed, when we pulled this thing, it started to slip off. It was losing its position. Mm -hmm. And I just grabbed it with my glove and put it where it belongs. <clears throat> you can handle it. It's so thick that uh, you're not going to damage the, the project at all. You like that? And that's going to stay. The blood, the plate is up there. Yeah. We just grind down to the screws. Done. Now, how long will that have to cool? Good question. <laughs> if I want to shrink the socket, I'll take it off today. Because if we remove it today, it will reduce the socket by two or three plies. Because the plastic, as it cools and as it cures, shrinks. If I want to maintain the shape as exactly as it is, we'll take it off tomorrow. And there you go. Socket, plate, everything mounted all in one shot. If you notice how clear it is yet here, because it's so thick in that region that it still hasn't cooled. Oh, okay. We had a little trouble with sticking because it's in there so long. It's in there so long that. See how you can guide it now, too? See what I did this time? A little more careful with this thing come down nice and slow. Nice and nice and nice. The so vacuum's going to come in in a second. Place in this white spot up there? Yep. Yeah. Here's a piece of plastic. Yeah, put it in. Go away. You don't have to worry about it moving. See, I just pulled it back a little bit. Get your arm. Because remember, we're working off a vertical mandrel. 